Amen. We thank you, praise God, for everybody that's holding on. The Bible says stay on the wall. And that's what we can say about this next speaker. Amen to God. Pastor Miracle Burlinson. Amen. Hallelujah. She's been on the wall, and she's coming to contribute into this conversation about the four Ps. Prayer, praise, purpose, and perseverance. We are waiting for this rhema word on tonight. So God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, praise the name of the Lord. I'm just so excited to be a part of this experience, and it has been just totally phenomenal. I thank you, Evangelist Bernard, for opening this up to me. Thank you, Vanna Guide. Uh, you know, and I've been so blessed by the speakers who are on the line before me. Just the atmosphere is supercharged. Amen. And so, Thank you know, you, right now what I want to do is I'm going to pray, and then we're going to get into the Word of God. We're going to be talking for a few minutes on operating in miracles through relationships. Ooh. That's what we're going to talk about, operating in miracles you, through Jesus. relationships. Hallelujah. Father God, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I worship you, Lord God, for this opportunity. I thank you for these precious people, Lord God, who have joined in together in the spirit of unity and oneness, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, that we're receiving and, Lord God, we're experiencing a supernatural manifestation of your presence because of the unity, Lord God, in this body of believers, Lord God. And I thank you that every ear is anointed to hear, every heart is receptive to receive. And this word, Lord God, it falls on good ground. It's going to produce supernatural harvest of results. You're bringing forth miracles in all of us, Lord God. You're preparing us to walk in the supernatural in the days to come in a greater level, and we worship you. We give you all the glory, honor, praise, credit for everything that you do in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Operating in miracles through relationship. The Lord is preparing a people. He's raising up a remnant that will walk in miracles that we've seen in the Bible, and we haven't necessarily seen them in operation like that in our time. But we're coming into a time where it won't just be about what you say. It'll be about demonstration. We're living in the midst of a generation that needs to see the power of God, and God is raising up, us up. This is the army of those who will walk in supernatural demonstration. And so as we begin to talk about this, I want to put three words out there for you to just kind of uh, focus you in on, on this concept. The first word is saturation. The second word is substance. And the third word is stability. Those three words, one more time. The first word is saturation. The second word is substance. And the third is stability. We're talking about operating in miracles through relationships. This is, this has a lot to do with purpose. Amen. That we all have a purpose in God to be demonstrators of his power. To As Jesus was in the earth, so are we. So we, it's not enough to just brag and boast on the things that Jesus did. The Bible says, Jesus said this, he said, I've only done what I've seen and heard my father do. I've only said the things that he said. He said, but greater works will you do. Hallelujah. This is the generation. This, we are the people of the greater works. So we're not just, you know, talking about how, you know, the things that Jesus did. And our boast is in the Lord. And the things that will manifest through us is because of him. And it's his power working in us. But we understand that there is a requirement upon us to do greater works. Hallelujah. We have to Thank press you. into, hallelujah, we have to press into the people now that God can depend on to do the greater works. Hallelujah. We can't be scared. We can't be in the box. We can't be religious. We are called to this. This is our purpose. Praise the name of the Lord. So that first word that we gave you was saturation. And when we begin to talk about saturation, you know what God, what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, he's saying in order to operate in this next realm, the way I need you to operate, you must be totally consumed with me. Totally consumed, totally, that word, totally. Mm. That means, yes, that means yes. no room for nothing else. My so mom, we wonder mom. why there is a remnant of people who, who, who don't really feel comfortable watching uh, Scandal. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> we wonder why there's a remnant of people rising up that eat a little different. 
Hallelujah. They don't, you know, they, they, they don't have as many people around us. We're operating a little different. We go into church and we're not all out. We're just kind of discerning. There's a, there's a people that God has been preparing to walk in this next level oh. because we understand that in order to walk in this, we have to be totally saturated. Now is the time to just consume ourselves with God. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. There's no room for foolishness. There's no room for anything that's casual or carnal. It's God. It's God time now. We've had seasons in the past where we've had seasons where we've been able to just kind of, you know, you know, dibble and dabble in it a little bit. And we've had seasons where we were able to waver a little bit, but this is not that time. Come on now. Hallelujah. This is the time to be consumed. So how do we become saturated with the spirit of God and the presence of God? And it has to do with the five physical senses. That's the way we're going to focus in on that. And and before I go into that, I want to just talk about this year coming up. It's 2014. And um, I absolutely agree with the prophetess that came on before. It's the year of the supernatural. And the number 14, it has to do with savior and a deliverer. See, um, God deals in numbers, and so I know that in in my family there, I'm the 14th child, and the Lord talked to me about that one day. He said that number 14, it has to do with the Savior and a deliverer. There were 14 generations from Abraham to David, and there were 14 generations from David to Jesus. This year, 2014, it has to do with deliverers rising up in the earth realm, Mm -hmm. mighty deliverers. Come on now. Tell me that's you, people of God. That's us. It's our time. And then this year, God is going to raise us up. Oh. Hallelujah. So 2014 will be a year of massive deliverance through the supernatural. Yes, yes. It'll be massive deliverance, but it's going to be through deliverers who are operating in the supernatural realm. Praise the name of the Lord. So how do we be saturated? Let's just focus in on the five physical senses. Let's focus in on taste, touch, see, hear, and smell. Hallelujah. In the book of Genesis, when when the, when Satan got Eve to sin, we all know how he did it. He got her to look at it. He got her to touch it. You know, he got her, you know, he worked with those physical senses until he got her to sin. And on, so... Now. The the way, and we, we know, so something else I want to show you in that book is that in the book of Genesis, we saw God all the way up through, I think it was chapter 2. But when you just kept saying, God did this, God said, let there be light, God, God, God. And then once flesh was created, then you began to see the Lord God because flesh needs a Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. The trees out there don't need mm-hmm. a Lord. The sun don't need a Lord. A Lord has to do with I own you. You are mine. Do what I say. We're not in a season where, you know, we can claim the name of the Lord and then do whatever it is that we want to do. He literally owns us. We belong to the Lord. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, he is Lord. From the time we rise in the morning to the time we lay down at night, Jesus is Lord. He's Lord over this flesh. So this flesh has no life in it anymore. Flesh must be Come dead. Flesh must be dead. Hey, these last few days you have in 2013, you do everything you can. You make sure your flesh is dead. Okay. Dead. Hallelujah. No life in the flesh. 2014 is not a year for the flesh. Mm. Jesus has to be Lord over that flesh. You can't feed your flesh. Mm. Come on Anything now. Ooh, that's geez. halfway feeding your flesh. You know, the reason I don't watch Scandal because I got too scared of how everybody was enjoying it. Uh-huh. I said something wrong Ooh, with yeah. that. Yeah, come on now. Come on now. I said if, if everybody is enjoying it that much, it's something about the flesh in that. It's feeding their it's tickling their flesh. I don't want it. I can't feed my flesh. Ooh. Come on Pull now. away from anything that is feeding your flesh. I don't care if it's reality TV. I don't care if it's certain conversations. I don't care if it's carnal people. Pull away. This is not the time to feed the flesh because you can't birth miracles out of flesh. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh. Hallelujah. So how do we become saturated? It has to do with taste, touch, sight, hear, feel. And we, we submit and we give all of that over to the Lordship of Jesus. Huh. The Bible says, taste and see that God is good. That has to do with just having an having a, a appetite for him, wanting him, wanting him more than anything. 
that he's all in our taste buds. He's what we desire. He's what we crave. We're yearning for him, for his presence, for his word. Hallelujah. All day. Touch. Hallelujah. And then let's talk about here. We got to be able to hear God. We got to be super sensitive to the voice of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Sharpen your ears to hear God. Make sure you're always feeling your spirit and listening to him. Listening yes. for him. Our ability to manifest miracles in the earth that's on the depend is going to be contingent upon us being able to hear God and to speak mm. what we heard. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. If we can hear God and speak what we heard, then that's going to be some miracles in the earth. Uh-huh. And some people yeah. are going to be delivered. Sharpen yes. your ability to hear God. Get still in your spirit. Speak, Lord, for thy servant is listening. Huh. Hallelujah. Ooh. Be still and know that I am God. It's not a time for a lot of business. Just lay out on the floor and listen. Oh, Jesus. Get a notepad next to a, uh, you know, just lay out a pallet on the floor, put a notepad, a pen, and a Bible, and lay there and listen. When God talks, write it down. Stay there for hours. Hear God. Hallelujah. Feel him. That's right. You know, feel him. Know, know when his presence is, is, is just flooding you and know why. Hallelujah. You, are, you know, I can be in the service and I can feel when, when God is shifting it and I can feel the fire come in my hands and I can feel the Holy Ghost want to do something totally different. You got to be sensitive in all of your five physical senses. Say, God, saturate me. Saturate me. Yeah. Saturate yes. me. Saturate me. Saturate I want to be, I wanna be so full and saturated yeah. that when, they touch, when I walk by my shadow does something because I'm so saturated. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Mm. That's where we are, precious people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The totality of who you are has to be totally consumed with God. Mm. Mm. Amen. So there is no such thing as, you know, it don't take all of that. It takes all of that and some. Whatever you've been giving God, it takes more. More. Praise God. 